What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can probably notice, I'm in a brand new setup right here. I used to record in my room and then I moved down to the basement. I just have a clothing rack in the plant. As you can see, I just wanted to spice things up a little bit. I feel like my room just had a lot going on in the background. I had like posters and shelves and stuff and I think this just looks a lot cleaner. I might end up making some changes to it in the future, who really knows, but this is it for now. But anyway, school just started a couple weeks ago for me and it's probably just starting for you guys as well. And it just so happens that recently I literally ended up almost selling all my clothes and restarting my whole wardrobe pretty much. Not every single piece, but a lot of this stuff I have now is new. So I figured I'd throw all the new stuff into a back to school pickups video for you guys. I have a little bit of everything sprinkled into this video, so without any further ado, let me just show you guys all the pieces that I picked up. So first of all, I'm going to start off with something that everybody needs for school and that is of course a backpack. I used to have a Supreme backpack from like spring, summer 18. I think it was but I got rid of that I sold it and then I picked up this one for less this one's called the East pack double packer and I picked it up from sovereign it's like my favorite store in Chicago I just think this is a really nice and wearable backpack it has two of these front pockets as you guys can see it's kind of like a boxy like square shape almost big enough to fit all my books and stuff as you guys can see all that stuff for school only thing about it is that the zipper always gets stuck I actually really like some of the stuff that East Pack has been doing. They also had like a puffer one on the website. I'll put that right here. And they also had a collab with Raph for their latest collection, which I really liked. It had like a whole punk aesthetic with the graphics. They were pretty much regular backpacks, but on the back of each bag, they had like a square overlay with a huge punk graphic on it. I just really like the whole punk rock theme, and I actually have something from that Raph collection right here, which I'll show you guys later. And then there's also some like metal detailing on the buckles as well, but I just really think this is a nice, wearable, subtle option for a backpack. Yeah, I really don't think you can go wrong with this backpack for back to school the East Pack double packer is a great option next piece is actually the t-shirt I'm wearing right now it's from Siberia Hills's diffusion line called Siberia spirit in case you guys didn't know there's actually huge wildfires going on in Siberia right now a ton of land and wildlife is unfortunately being destroyed so Siberia Hills teamed up with Arctic World Club and that means that a portion of the proceeds from this shirt are actually going to animals in need in Siberia the graphic itself is kind of abstract but it has two foxes and then like a fire separating them and then it says safe Siberia and like a script font across the top Siberia Hills is definitely one of my favorite brands and I just really like the message behind this whole drop and the fact that it's going to a good cause, so I had to pick this shirt up. My next pickup actually got ruined in the dryer somehow. I think there was like a wrapper or something in it and it like made these huge white specks all over it. But this is another Siberia Hills piece that I picked up from Grailed. It's called the Born Hunters Long Sleeve. This is from one of their really early drops. I'm not sure if it was the first one, but it's definitely one of the first. It says Born Hunters on the front left of the chest and then it has a super sick back graphic. I still really like this long sleeve and I really like the fit of all the Siberia Hill stuff. It's a shame that this got ruined. If any of you guys know how to fix this or even knows what it is, please let me know in the comments down below. Next up is just a super basic black zip up hoodie from Urban Outfitters. I don't have too much to say about this. It just has a really nice faded black wash and kind of like a boxy fit. This is definitely nice for wearing unzipped with t-shirts and stuff like that, but you can also wear it zipped up and just wear it alone. I definitely think everybody needs a zip up hoodie in their wardrobe. It's just really nice to have, especially for layering and stuff like that. And this one from Urban Outfitters is definitely a good option. Next up is honestly one of my favorite pieces from my whole wardrobe and it's the Cathedral hoodie from Colette Hyatt. Colette Hyatt is a new brand started by one of my favorite YouTubers and designers, Owen Hyatt. He's done a lot of design work for Ian Connor, so the Sicko brand and Revenge X Storm, you guys probably know both of those. And he finally made his own brand over the summer, I think in July. I actually recorded a full review video to this hoodie, but I accidentally deleted all the footage, so I lost it. But it's this really nice cut and sew hoodie in this like light blue slash gray colorway. He also released a brown colorway of this hoodie and then like four other pieces, I think, with the collection. It was overall a super dope collection. I think he did an amazing job at executing it. This is just like a super boxy really nice quality hoodie and my favorite detail of it is definitely the open face in the front so most hoodies are connected in the front where the hood like meets the neckline but this one actually left a raw hem right there and it's like an open super like wide neckline and then the flaps of the hood lay on your shoulders really nicely you guys will see what I'm talking about it has some really nice subtle distressing on almost all the edges but there's no like huge holes so I really like that a lot I'm not usually the biggest fan of a lot of distressing but I think this was executed really nicely as you guys can see on the front it has a huge graphic of a Russian church the whole hood along with the graphic was put through an enzyme wash which gives it this really nice faded vintage look I just think this is a beautiful really well done hoodie it has a really unique boxy fit and I really just love everything about it next up we have a t-shirt from the spring summer 19 Raph Simmons collection some of the pieces from that collection were kind of hit or miss for me they had some pieces with like huge holes in them and stuff that I wasn't really a huge fan of but ever since I first saw it, I really loved this t-shirt I'm pretty sure all the graphics from this collection were taken from a punk rock magazine
magazine from the 70s and I really just like the feel of this one in particular. As you can see this guy's face is pierced up completely and it gives it a very nice edgy look. I picked this up on sale from Essence and the men's sizes were actually sold out so I ended up picking up the women's sizes in the exact same t-shirt. It ended up fitting me so I really have no complaints and this is overall just a really nice t-shirt from the Raph Spring Summer 19 collection. Next up I have another t-shirt and this one right here is from Helmet Lang. I got this from a store in Barcelona when I was there over the summer and I think this store was called Dosha Burry. On the front it just says Helmet in some upside down letters but I really like the back of this one. On the back it says L'Apocalypse Joy Use which translates to the Happy Apocalypse, also pretty edgy. It has more of a form fitting or slim fit which is actually kind of different for me because I usually wear boxier or more wide t-shirts. I just felt like I didn't have enough white stuff in my wardrobe so I picked this one up. It's just a nice everyday t-shirt that I can pretty much wear with everything. Next piece is something that I've been super, super excited about, and it's the Joy Division Brad Knit sweater. I've had my eye on this piece ever since it dropped, and I don't know why I didn't pick it up right when it dropped, but I ended up picking this up on Grailed. I've never had an actual knitted sweater, and this is just something that I've wanted forever. I really love everything about it. It has a really nice boxy loose fit, and I'm not sure if this knit is made out of like wool or cotton, but it feels really soft and nice to the touch. And this graphic is from Fight Club, which is like a top three movie to me, just an amazing movie, and I really like how we pulled inspiration from that. I might not get as much wear out of it just because I'm so scared to ruin it, but this is one of my favorite pickups of 2019 so far, the Brad Knit Vision Sweater. Next up, I have a pair of stonewashed distressed denim from Balenciaga. I was looking for a nice dark gray slash like faded black pair of jeans on Grailed and I came across these. These have a really nice straight leg fit and distressing at the ankles, which I think is a really nice touch. On the tag, it said these retailed for $6.50 and I ended up getting these for $1.50, only worn a few times, so I think that's a pretty good price. If I remember correctly, these came out with the whole Sinners collection, so these are called the Sinners Denim officially. This is my first piece from Balenciaga and I'm honestly really satisfied and happy with the quality and pretty much everything about these. Definitely one of my new favorite pairs of pants. And last but not least, this is actually not a streetwear piece, but it's a fragrance. This is the Jazz Club Cologne from the Replica Collection from Mason Margiela. I definitely think your scent contributes to your smell because you don't want to be walking through the school hallway smelling like shit, so you need some good cologne, but you also need a shower. I've tested all the colognes from the Replica line, but this one was definitely my favorite. I'm not gonna say too much about it, but the Replica line of cologne from Mason Margiela is definitely a hit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my back to school pickups. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and if you didn't, leave a thumbs down. I don't really care. Make sure you follow my Instagram at whoisjxn. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I am out.